Welcome to part 2 of the Army Painter Speed Paint Metallic Set Review. This time I'm going to cover the 3 colors that I did not cover in my first video. If you haven't watched that one on the Stormcast Eternals and the first 7 colors, I will leave a link in the upper right hand corner. For this second video, I'm going to be using Greek Spartans. These are from Warlord Games' excellent Hail Caesar game. The Spartans historically used iron weapons but bronze armor, making them the perfect subject for this video. As usual, I don't just review paints, I use it in a practical tutorial. Might as well learn to paint up Spartans while you learn about the colors. So the first thing I'll do is put all the Spartans on a paint stick with double-sided tape or rolled over duct tape like this. And then after that, I'm going to put it through a Xenophil highlight, which is basically a black primer followed by a white primer applied at a 45 degree angle all the way around. The white is a great base for the speed paints that I'll use next. I'll get to the three review colors soon enough, but I'm going to apply all the primary colors first, which are basically just regular speed paints. Holy white is a color that I put on all the skirts and any of the full body tunics on some of these soldiers. I put one or two coats of Crusader skin on all the exposed flesh surfaces, followed by Slaughter Red on any of the lower parts of the skirts, on the sleeves, and also on the plumes on their helmets. I apply hardened leather onto the breastplates, onto the scabbards of the swords, and the shafts of the spears. For the iron spearheads, I use Broadsword Silver, which I featured in my other video. This gives a slightly darker silver and it really kind of suits this time period very well. Okay, all done with the secondary colors, now on to the stars of the show, the bronze colors. I start with Talos Bronze and I put this on basically the shield, which I'm going to use as the main area of comparison for all three colors. And for these Spartan soldiers, some of them have leg guards as well, you want to put bronze on those, and then their helmets are also going to be bronze. The hilts of the swords also get bronze. Next, I'm going to try Horde Bronze, and I'm going to put this on basically all the same areas. This one Warlord Games model doesn't have any leg guards, so I just put this onto its helmet and its shield. The last bronze color in this review is Brazen Copper, and I put this in the same areas that I did the first two models. So, while this review is about the three bronze colors, you also learn how to paint up some Spartans for Hail Caesar. The only thing I won't do is cover basing. These go on rectangular bases, but since I'm doing this as a review video, they're going to be on round, simple bases. I'm just going to paint them black, just to make them non-distracting. Let's compare these three colors, Talos Bronze, Horde Bronze, and Brazen Copper. This is Talos Bronze. A few comments on this color, I think it's a somewhat of a muted color compared to the other two. But what's nice about it is it lays down really well. As you notice, there's very little pooling. It's really smooth and I enjoyed using this color. Really, this is only one coat and I didn't have to do anything else. The second color is Horde Bronze. Immediately, you'll notice that it's a little bit splotchy. And I actually didn't watch this close enough and I just left it and it started splotching. So when you work with this color, just remember to like put several coats and try to even it out as much as you can. This is definitely splotchier than Talos Bronze, but at the same time, it's got a lot more shine. This is natural shine, it's not varnished or anything. I still like the Talos Bronze better though, because it, it just looks more uniform. The last one is Brazen Copper. This is actually a really nice color. It's got the same glossy appearance as Horde Bronze. So Brazen Copper, I like it. It's also a little bit splotchy, so be careful when you lay it down. You'll want to make sure you even it out with your brush. As you can see over here, I didn't pay attention to these two spots and it started pooling. But otherwise, this color is really pretty. Here are the three colors put together for your comparison. The one on the left is Talos Bronze. The one in the center is Horde Bronze, and the one on the right is Brazen Copper. That's my review of the final three colors in the Army Painter Speed Paints Metallic set. Depending on the look you're going for, all three colors have their merit, but if I had to only pick one, I would pick Talos Bronze. 
the other two were splotchier, so just be careful when you use them. I hope this video helps you pick your metallic speed paints. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.